Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my Ixion playthrough. We have a system to continue exploring after some weird time shenanigans happened last week. So, uh, we've done the asteroid, we are ne going to need to move our science ship over here once we have the research off it. Um, largely speaking, we're mostly just collecting the resources and moving on. I don't believe... Okay, wait, it's fine. Um, I don't believe there's anything we want to do in here. The only thing we might want to do is override another sector. But we don't really have anything we want to be building. I'm tempted to make another... a uh, couple of pairs of, um... colonists. We can only move, um... 33 at a time anyway. And we only need 30 for the mission that we're going on. But if it tells me that having more colonists improves chances of success, then we have a lot of colonists. So it's an option. Uh, what's our research queue like? Fire stations and then reduce the cost of um, solar panels so that we can actually then upgrade our solar panels. Have they? How? Pause a second. I thought we clicked the leave button. King security protocol in the case of the crew on board the iceberg is not the original crew. After intense questioning and observation via the science uh, ships on board surveillance system, none of them went down. We we undid that timeline. It appears that the new crew are indeed human and possess good knowledge of Dolo's um, protocols and procedures. Uh, they stubbornly insist that they have always worked um, on the Tyquin, but their biometric data does not. How does that work? We established infrastructure on the outside and we only ever sent a probe down to the middle, so how have they been swapped out or altered? We can't purge the crew because we will immediately fail um, our mission, uh, a submission. Pinching login ID. Tycoon's manifest will be updated um, to account for what must be a database bug. No! That... Why are they all idiots? Something clearly happened. They're not necessarily a different crew, but something has changed them. Either way, again, we can't click that because we have a mission to not kill our scientists. Uh, five crew members have been renamed. New identity, new identity. Okay. That's going to come back to bite us in the ass. Thank you, crew of the Tyquin, because I could have purged them if you hadn't forced me to agree to, um, you know, not kill them. Let's get some things sped up. Internal resources are fine. Research, when collecting plenty, we need to pay attention for when the next one finishes. Fire station has been unlocked. Good, and you're working on that now. And then I think we go for fusion stations next. Yeah, research speed is not a problem. We're not worried about that. External construction speed. I'm not worried about anything that is speed related at the moment. Charge speed increase. Having the battery size increase is potentially useful. 
reducing training time is not helpful. Having the Tyquin move faster would actually be helpful, along with the battery upgrade. Additional beds, housing capacity is increased by 30%. That would be... We don't need it at the minute, but the second we start getting a new crew, something to grab. Um, the DLS center, I remember what that one does. Okay, let's just get another button we wanted to press. Research that, cue that. I could. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. I could beeline all three major technologies. A side ship has arrived at its destination. Uh, beeline all the major technologies, and then that would allow us to. Um, let's push the button position, pause it. Establish an advanced. Okay. That's what I thought might be the case. Let's set up an advanced colony, give them the best chance of survival, even though it's the also a chance to kill the most people. Fire station. Dispatch his trucks to put out fires. How big are you? That's a big ass fire station. That's six by six, isn't it? Where the hell am I supposed to put that anywhere? Doesn't even go there. Bottom life sect center in sector one. Okay, hospitals are coping. I think we can turn that off. I need for it to be on. Is the other another planet nearby? Yes. <sighs> of course it is. Very well, we shall wait. Insect farm, sector two. Okay, that's fine. We still got enough spare space for another 300 colonies, or oh, 300 and crew as it is. I wonder how long it is until we're going to get penalised for hanging around. We have plenty of um, bonus stability so we're not all that concerned when that does eventually happen. Come on. Clean the colonists. The fire station needs circuits of all things? It would seem to me to be prudent to have a fire station at least in here and in here. It just says it dispatches to put out fires. Quote unquote fires. But I've never seen a quote unquote fire. Counts as industrial though. So maybe it's something that could happen over here. Hmm. I 
think for safety's sake, I think we should put one down here. What's our crew looking like over here? We have available crew at the moment, so it's not that big of a deal. Without going, let's get this queued. And we can also now craft. We almost have that ready. Two, one, zero, done. Okay. Can I send more than one ship? Probably not. Because that's going to take it two, six trips to do on a single ship. So it's gonna take a while. Where's our miner gone? It's fine. This mine still got some ice. Oh, okay, here it is. It's mining the nearby ferrite. Oh, we've actually about run out of ferrite. enabling this at this point because we are just spending a bunch of it and we're going to be spending some more. Uh, we're at max iron. This uses less power but the same amount of crew so or in fact it uses less crew. Okay, that works out They've got on the nearby silicon. If that's the case, then let's free up this lot. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Small storage. Accident, but plenty of spare beds, not an issue. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Okay, you're going to get that because we don't have the carbon. And you're prioritizing. Silicon, it's all good. Oh, it looks like we got our power infrastructure upgrade. We'll allow the hull to repair a bit more. And then we'll get the other one. We 
good if I could get this up beyond just a tier one, get it to a tier two. There was a great big asteroid there. It's fine. We should probably allow them to actually start collecting some of the ferries to um, refill our backlog. in here. It's all good. Right. How's this going? Two out of six down. Third one on its way. That's fine. How can we be making a... Oh, we're probably making a um, loss because we had one that was down for a while. Um, in order to speed this up a bit, let's actually move over to here. And then we'll just enable all of this for mining. I think. Um, so how long will you take to get there? 2.6. Can I do that without research? You're fine. Yes, we could make that move without a problem. That'll put us closer to here. It'll mean that that will complete faster. It does mean that this is going to take longer for it to harvest these, but again, that's fine in the minute we're over, we have too many resources. So let's move this to here. Okay. We are probably going to have to build another airlock. What crew does it need? Let's get another airlock built. Space EVA airlock. Uh, this sector had more power than it needed anyway, so we don't need to worry about that particular aspect of things. It's these two that had slightly less. They all have four batteries, don't they? They should do. They do. do. Okay. Caution. Entering extreme low temperature environment. Station is now vulnerable to meteorological event damage. Hull integrity might be affected by weather conditions. Hmm. So that's what that means. So this is just a cold area. Uh, maybe we move it back out of here. I wasn't sure. It obviously looked like a weather thing, but... A new request awaits your attention. Uh, 
Ah, I wonder if that's where fires come from. Administrator, adverse web, uh, space weather conditions can cause severe damage to the Tyquin uh, unless an objective of critical importance lies within. Um, we should avoid entering uh, affected areas when using uh, our EKP systems. I would have to... I'm in the set... I'm in the, the meteorological area as it stands. So I assume that means it wants me to take this station out and then keep out the 20 cycles. I'm gonna... Can I save scum from here? I can't. We may have to reload the previous one. Because if it gave me this because I entered it and it's gonna immediately fail me because I'm already in it, then developers, what the fuck again? I'm assuming I will have time to get out. Avoid entrance for 15 seconds, okay. Well, we need to get to the next location and then head back out again, so... We'll revert, or oh, reverse over to here, once we've actually finished arriving. Okay, we've arrived. We need to give the batteries time to charge. you want to increase the speed the batteries charge I mean they're fully charged already <laughs> they charge ridiculously fast okay how long to move you to here I mean the only thing this is going to do is increase my trust with the crew how long has this been at 100%? Trust with the crew is not really something that's ever been an issue. I don't think there's been another update since the last time I played this game. now left the area. There we go. One crew member died during the last cycle due to one environmental effect. Okay, so now you give me a clear reason to stay out of these forever, never go into them. That is only my quote-unquote sixth loss. It's not strictly speaking true. We've lost more than that previously. Apparently we are out of silicon, but we're not collecting much of anything else at the minute, so it's fine. It still counts as set, uh, tier one. How can this still count as tier one? How do we get these to be higher tiers? This is a question I deeply want to know the answer to. Stability penalty for only awakening workers is changed to negative one. Propaganda grants plus one stability. A gauge is displayed indicating progress towards 
tier two of specialization. That's helpful, but doesn't tell us how we get tier two of a specialization. Provides plus two stability when the stability for sector is below zero. It's kind of an emergency building if sh all everything is going to hell. Okay. How are you going? Two more trips. Well, we've got the last of the hydrogen. We did just get two more accidents that didn't get pinged to us. Hospital's fine. Insect farm. Current food levels are fine and we are producing more than we need. Even with the insect farm being down. Okay. So let's speed things back up again. This didn't count as a space building, did it? that could not be explained. It's in the space tab, but it's not counted as a space building. And I counted as industrial. These alone are counted as population. The last load or second to last load, second to last load. Our balance of alloys is slowly starting to go down. Current alloy storage can maintain the hull for 77 cycles. I think we need to keep having it plus 30 when we're not doing anything doesn't really benefit us at all so I think we'll um, have it turned off yeah five per cycle we are on cycle 700 Waiting on the last load. Can we get, we can get from here. Yeah, if we really want to navigate over to this side to get closer to this. One, we could go straight through the middle or we could just go around. It's just gonna take a long ass time. So we did the mission and gained nothing from it, apparently. Okay, that will drop off. Now that's ticking. Okay, can I fit? Is there room? There is. We could drop one of these here. If we wanted to. Four, four. Four. Um, 
I'm assuming that means our store of carbon is at its max. We can't get any more over here. And there's no reason that that can't be um, filled to the brim. If I wanted to get the next set of solar cells... An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Okay, could be worse. Hmm, it's more... Ah, that is 200. It's 200 polymer. We don't need the power at the minute. So I think... Let's turn this off again. And start stockpiling the rest. Do we have... we should. That's 30. Pause. Turn on. Yeah, we have the crew. Unless we get an accident. Has completed a, task. a significant accident in Sector 3, which we haven't got. We've just got a... just had a basic accident. Uh, the temporary test colony has been established. Or the, yeah, the temporary the colonists have... will periodically transmit reports on their progress. Uh, these will provide us with valuable field data. It's like a very cold location. I don't get the feeling we're going to lose all the colonists by saying we're going to leave. We're not going to leave the system, obviously. It's more sock pile in sector one. Not looking at. Not enough beds in a minute. Nicely bouncing back and forth there. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Into, uh, uh, some of intelligence on Tatara v, uh, V8 scans. Our probes have detected electromagnetic signatures um, from the operation of Dolus device, uh, Dolus, uh, from an operational Dolus device. It appears to be an unidentified cargo ship navigating among the hydrogen and helium clouds of um, Tatara V9. It is not responding to communication attempts. Transmission um, from the iceberg team. Extremely violent, violent hurricanes move through the atmosphere of Tataru V8. Tataru. <laughs> what is this, Final Fantasy XIV? Tatara. Uh, we, ha uh, we are having difficulty manoeuvring and fear that we may be struck by lightning at any moment. Uh, we have successfully located the cargo ship. It does not seem to have noticed our presence. Get close to the ship, no bad idea. Hail the ship. They just told us that they are worried about the atmospheric interference. Oh, we forgot to collect all the science from over there. We're going to have to double back to get that final three science. Insect farm is disabled, but yeah, no population is fine. A science ship team has completed a task. Uh, a conflict to the cargo ship was established, but the iceberg crew received nothing except white noise in response to their hails. Ram the cargo ship to force, for, uh, to force an emergency landing. No, that's just going to crash both ships. Again, we've been told that their risk or they feel that like their risk of being struck by lightning if we ram the ship we're going to potentially damage both ships and lose control of both of them both of these are bad options really can't you figure out a way to tow the ship out of the atmosphere maybe some magnetic grappling hooks this is what we would have done if it was playing Stellaris attempt to board the ship Attempting to board the ship while it's airborne is also dangerous. 
neither of those are good options. Uh, boarding the ship uh, was successful. Inside, the team found a PA piloting the ship. Interrogate the PA. Recover the cargo ship and disconnect the PA. Interrogate the PA. Spam in subsistence. Our team will try to extract... Hmm... There's that weird text again. Team will try to extract information from the PA about their um, origins and intents. I get the theme, but it, it doesn't matter what we're going to do, we're going to lose this um, science ship. Oh, interesting. The colony is generating science. A new request awaits your attention. Does it? Because that timed things pretty nicely. The ship team has completed a task. With that. Where's this request? Is this, re this request has got to be something to do with what the scientist has just found out. Administrator, with the discovery of... I haven't even found this out yet, game! Order of Operations! Uh, with the anemic's attack on the Protagoras, many of the crew theorise that the UN's animosity towards Delos has been confirmed. Uh, the crew have been shaken, uh, learning that they were struck with a seal of banishment uh, by former authorities of Earth. Uh, this will increase the prevalence of deaf earth sickness in the Tigwin acknowledged. Which is avoidable presumably by purging or just claiming the ship rather than um, talking to your eye. The protagonist was hunted by the um, word. Uh, the UN was ruthless and systematically investigated all areas of space they knew um, the protagonist to operate in. The key part of their plan involved infiltrat infiltrating Dolus um, from the inside and slowly dissect, uh, dissecting among the protagonist's crew. A mutiny forced the protagonist to stop in this system for longer than planned. The rebels gained access to a command terminal and transmitted the protagonist's exact location to the ship. That's when my parents uh, put me on this uh, on this body and left me here to play with the winds forever. Recover the cargo ship and discount. We don't have a... If we recover the cargo ship, we have nowhere to put it. <laughs> we already have six ships. We have no other docks and no space to build more. How's that gonna work? Uh, we should just double check things. Yeah, that's fine. Everyone's still happy. Okay, all of those resources are Matt. That's fine, so long as we don't fill this up. I'm still wondering what it's going to do about that ship. We don't have the space for it. A science ship team has completed a task. Uh, the cargo ship is on the way to the Tycoon. New ship, cargo ship. Uh, ship repatriated cargo ship. I mean, 
I'm assuming that's the new ship. It has resources on it, but... It has no docking bay. What's it gonna do? There are no crew members on this ship. The ship uh, to issue the ship or, or ah, or this is a ship you must have at least one crew member on board. But again, we don't have a dock for it. What are we supposed to do with it? What indeed? I suppose we could unlock another sector. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay. Probe sensor detected traces of Dolo's EKP signatures near Mark um, Mark R. Tracking its trajectory, it appears to have entered the planetary's atmosphere, coordinates a potential crash site that has been established. The surface temperature is extremely low. Um, reaching the crash site, the iceberg team found the remains of a science ship frozen in the ice. For the ice, by venting the ship's coolant, um, coolant cells, drill through the ice and investigate the wreck using a boring scope. Set up excavation equipment. Do we wish to... This ship is not assigned to a docking bay. But it is our ship, right? We do get to keep it, don't we? Don't we? Don't we? Uh, okay, if I was to unlock another sector, which one would I unlock? Probably... Probably the one right of here. And then we can move this over there. We can move this and this with it. That gives this sector extra space for when we eventually again want another one of these. We could also technically move that over. So we can have a separate space sector. Um, this one dedicated to hull repair and the like. And the other one can be dedicated to storage and cargo income. Maybe. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. The problem with that is we do not have the crew. Overall, we are running pretty lean on workers at the moment. So, until we find more workers, or we have to leave the system, I'm not going to worry about it. Until one of those two things becomes true. Get this last bit of research, or uh, last one done. We have a couple more, don't we? Yeah, we go come around to here, then to here, and then over to there. We think the arc from here to there will make it avoid this. We think. We don't know though. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Okay, we need to pause that one. Has that actually caused a prob problem? Insufficient beds. Extra hours. Which one was it? This one. Let's take that offline for that now. Okay. Uh, 
There hasn't been as much science in this area, uh, uh, system as I would have liked. EVA airlock. So long as that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Having a spare science ship wouldn't be unwelcome. A science ship team has completed a task. Uh, all usable components from the wreckage have been uh, conditioned and prepared for extraction. Um, high quality lubricant upgrade unlocked. The iceberg team was able to recover data that revealed the cause of the science ships or cause of the science ships crash. And uh, named the Amaplace. This ship belonged to the second generation Taurus class superstructure called Protagoras. Following some sort of attack um, by the ship, a UN ship, uh, the Amaplace attempted an emergency landing on Mark R. Uh, Mark R. Coming in too fast, it was almost completely vaporized on impact. The crew manifest has been recovered. Okay. Administrator, we have collected and analyzed enough data to locate the Protagoras on the planetary system map via probe scan. Okay, that seems like as good a place as any to end it. Okay, now we have an explicit reason to go around to the other side. We could fly straight through there, but if we do want to be in this area for a minimum amount of time, then we should probably head around to the other side. I'm going to start making my way around now because I have a suspicion that we're going to be put on a clock. Basically, um, as soon as we send something there... So I kind of want to get this working its way around sooner rather than later. Yeah, all of that's going to be fine. Wait for the batteries to recharge here, go to here, wait for the battery to recharge here, go to here. The bigger problem is going to be this jump here. Happy New Year, Administrator. Okay, so you've retrieved all science. I can see battery integrity up there. That's what I was going to do. We was going to turn this on. Any reasons not to? Also, having this above our colony is probably a good idea. Because I get the feeling we're not going to be allowed to just leave the test colony behind. if I can temporarily disable that probe. A 
science ship has arrived at its destination. Uh, planet is dead. Uh, the back of the UN warship has orbits Valiant 71. In a twist of fate, it seems that after hunting down Dolo survivors, it fell uh, to something even more dangerous than itself. Uh, we have a visual on a cluster of UN emergency a cluster of UN emergency cryopods drifting towards Valiant 21. If we do not interfere, they'll enter the planet's atmosphere and be incinerated. But we know if we attempt to rescue them. They want us dead. If we bring them aboard, then they're going to try and kill us. Their job was to hunt down Dolo survivors. We are not bringing those carbo pods on board, cryopods on board. Everything else about this game has told us this is a, or this is going to be a bad idea. Okay, we're going to want to... This should be able to survive without any real issue. But I do want to give it a little bit more chance. A little bit more power. Okay, there we go. So the event there isn't going to start until we send the sign ship. Good! It's the last thing we will do. And I don't mean that we're never going to do it. I mean, it's literally going to be the last thing we do after we research everything else in this system. Okay. Jump from there to there shouldn't be hard. The tricky one's going to be from here to there. Uh, yeah, we're mostly waiting on that. Uh, oh, that's what that is. The mining ship being upgraded. Probe has discovered a new point of interest. We now have fusion stations. Um, farm is the next one that we've got queued up, which is fine. That's correct. I think we should probably cure wastewater treatment next, or maybe have the Tyquin move faster. A science ship team has completed a task. Uh, the hull has been punctured by many small particular objects um, that orbit or orbit at high speed around the Valiant 21. Uh, however, some of the hull punctures cannot be as uh, ascribed to this alone. Though most destroyed, although mostly destroyed, the technology on board is significantly more advanced compared to that of the Tyquin. The team's mission uh, reports will provide useful data uh, and support our own ongoing research and development initiatives. Buy a starter upgrade unlocked in the work for the workshop. What were both of these? Workshop, where are you? Half the trust penalty um, arising from overloads. Next construct build 25 pesta. I think that was the one we, that we got. Workshop now automatically repairs building. That's also going to... 
There's a lot of research that'll be good to get. This counts as a factory. Uh, I should, um, um, I should, um, um, how much power does this use? Only 10, only requires 10 crew. We have the available crew. We have the available circuits. What we need is access to them. Retrieved all science, good. In which case, you head over to the next target. And the Tyquin can move to its next target. Why did I disable that? We need it now. <laughs> a decent amount of the stuff around here but we still got there's a lot still lying around mm, maybe we should take the Tyquin to here then to here so that we can get all of this stuff first Ideally, I think it would have been from here to there is going to give us the best curve. An important message from our colonization mission requires your attention. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. We're not going to touch those, because I bet you anything they say, Hey, can you go pick up our colonists? The colonists on Devo, uh, Devane... Uh, 56 have completed their tests. Research has been completed on this planet. Yeah, and I bet if I click this, what it says, go pick them up, is what it's going to tell me. So it's a good job we've moved closer. From here to there, it's a lot quicker procedure. It's going to be to... um retrieve them now if I wanted to move to here 3.7 3 3.7 we would have to turn a lot of stuff off in all sis, uh, all sectors we could do it because we have spare fuel and we have spare hull integrity there's nothing stopping us from basically disabling more or less everything and running has arrived at its destination. on really low power let's pause it because we'll leave it all here we're about at the hour mark anyway and before i forget because we've been doing this too often Save. Okay. Excellent. But yeah, we shall call it here for today. Thank you very much. That doesn't look normal. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again on Wednesday with another episode of this. And we'll be back again tomorrow with a live stream that I think... Timing wise, I think we'll still be doing Main World? Probably. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the show and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.